All right. So when you're doing the hair, you want to make very, very, you pay very close attention to what direction the hairs are going, no matter what it is, whether it's an eyelash, an eyebrow, or an actual chunk of hair. So for the eyelashes, for example, if I was doing this one, they start out on this corner over here, they start out going to the right, but as the eye shifts, so does the direction of the hair. So you gotta make sure that your, your pencil mark is going in the same direction the hair is going. And that's gonna be true for everything you do related to hair. Um, you also wanna make sure that you're starting where it's darker or um, when it comes to eyebrows and eyelashes, you wanna start your mark where the root of the hair is, so at the, sort of at the base. And then um, you just lift up. You want, you want to make sure that you're lifting up your pencil, literally lifting up every single time so that the end of the line is thinner than the beginning. If it's not, if it's just as thick, it's not going to look like a hair where it gets a little bit wispier at the end. It's just going to look like you stopped drawing. All right, so you need to actually physically lift up your pencil mark every single time. So it gets a little tedious. This is why you need to be kind of hustling through and making sure you have enough time to get all this stuff done. So you want to make sure, again, you're just starting at the root, paying attention to what you already have drawn. I know, since I have this crease here, that none of these hairs, because in the picture, none of those hairs right there go longer, go past that crease. So I'm not going to do that here either. I'm going to make sure that they're short, quick marks, and they stay in that general area. Well, it's kind of hard for you to see. I can zoom in here. So short, quick marks in the direction you see the hair going. The closer your pencil marks are, to the darker they're going to look also. The more condensed they are, the darker that area is going to look. So if you have a few more hairs and it's a little bit darker, you can put a few more marks. You don't, it's just like anything else. It's just like hatching. You don't need to press any harder to make it darker, you need to layer, go over that area a little bit more to make it darker. But by the time I get up here, it starts to just creep, they get a little bit longer and creep past that crease just a little bit. So again, use what you already have done as a guideline to see how long things should be, where they should be lining up. And then you don't have to draw anything that you don't see. A lot of times kids get stuck because they, they know they have eyelashes, for example, right here. But in the picture, I don't see any. Okay, in the photograph, they're just not there. They're not in focus. You don't have to draw anything. You're trying to make this look like the picture. So you don't have to draw anything that isn't there. So by the time I get over here, I don't see eyelashes over there. I'm not going to add any. I don't see them. They're not there in the picture. So I can leave them out. All right? In terms of eyebrows, her eyebrows are really light because she's just a little baby. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a different example. I'm going to do this one over here just because it's a little bit darker instead. Um, but again, you want to make sure you're making your eyebrow, your marks, your pencil marks go in the same direction that the hair is laying and you start in the, at the base, start at the darker part. And the thing about eyebrows too, you guys, is that they go in a lot of different directions. Some of them start out going sort of like this, where they go up and away. But most people do have eyebrows that kind of come down also. And a lot of times we like to ignore them. I don't know why. But don't, because that's what makes it look a little bit more realistic. So paying attention to what direction they go. Like I said, I'm using HB right now because her, like I said before, they're so fine. Really, really small, small eyebrows. So I don't want to make it really dark. You can even, I would even say everybody should start out with HB and you can always make it darker if you need to, even if you have really dark hair. So I just don't want to go overboard with these. And since I already have the skin tones done, I'm just going right over the top of that and paying attention to what direction they should be going. Layer, layer, layer. I don't want to push hard. I want to be able to erase if I have to. Okay, so I'm not going to finish that, but that is the eyebrows. Next, if you were doing hair, like her hair is um, broken down into clumps. Um, 
So when I drew in the contour lines, I drew in the, the sort of chunks of hair that she has. So I'll start out with this part right here. And this is probably the most important part about the hair. You have got a lot of hair on your head. You've got a lot of hair in your picture. You need to make sure that you try to focus on one small part of it at a time. And you can always um, add on to the next part when you're happy with the part you're working on. So break it into small chunks like everything else. Like here I said, you know, just focus on the shading of this part of the eye, then this part, you know, work it into smaller groups of shadows and it's gonna be a lot easier. Your hair, especially if you have longer hair, it will naturally kind of fall in little chunks and, and clumps. Take one of them at a time um, and draw, draw that one and when you're happy with that one, move on to the next. You're um, still gonna use very short, quick marks. And right now I'm actually gonna use a darker pencil because that's really dark in there. So I am going to start out a little bit darker since uh, the shadow, I have the little sort of edge of the shadow drawn in but it's still pretty dark. So I'm just gonna, but I'm just gonna focus on this little clump right here. And again, short, quick marks. If I want to make it darker, I'm gonna just go over that spot more than once. And it does make a difference. You need to lift up your pencil every single time and it really does make a difference than if you're just coloring in like this. You do need to use that hatching technique that you practiced to make it look like hair. You're not gonna literally draw every single hair. I mean, that's just insane, but you wanna make it look like you did, okay? So with hair, you're gonna find a chunk to start with. You're gonna start in the dark part and lift up towards the lighter section. So now it's going to be significantly lighter right here, so I'm gonna to switch to my lighter pencil. Still starting in that dark area, lifting up as you get towards the lighter. The other thing is, because these are her bangs, and a lot of you, this will come into play too, like, especially guys with short hair. Um, you wanna lift up towards the end of your hair just because you want it to look like the end of your hair because your hair does get thinner. So you wanna make sure that you're lifting up that pencil mark enough so that it doesn't leave like a thick line. You don't want it to look like that. It shouldn't be that thick at the end. It should be nice and thin and wispy. And I'm doing a very, very small part of this at a time. And that's what I would suggest for you as well. Break it into small chunks, especially if you've got a lot of hair. You wanna make sure that you're doing small, small, small chunks at a time. Guys, if you have really short hair or pretty short hair, um, you wanna kinda of treat it more like eyebrows where you're paying more attention to what direction the hair is going. Um, still lifting up your pencil after every mark or at the end of each mark. Um, but you, you know, here, she's got, longer hair and it kind of starts down here and comes through here but I'm still doing short quick marks and just extending it out and that's how I would do longer hair but shorter hair you don't need to do that it's not as long of a hair to deal with so I would deal I would focus more on just paying attention to what direction the hair is going like you did for the eyebrows all right and that does take a long time the last thing that I have to show you is the background and we will do that either tomorrow or the next day so you definitely want to get through this hair